help you. Get out. Farewell. I can't meditate with a fire out. Seems I have to light it first. Good look. It's, it's so romantic. I am Alina. I must hurry. I am to marry soon. Alina, you're dead. Why do you say so? I feel wonderful. If a trifle cold. Strange. It's hot as hell. I must gather raspberries for my beloved. Why did Alina's soul refuse to leave? I can sense her happiness now that she's thinking about her wedding. She doesn't know she's a ghost. Hmm. Maybe Nehalenia's mirror is not enough to break the curse. I heard a story of a noon wraith who wouldn't wed a Nilf guardian, but I don't remember how it ended. A legend, you say? Maybe I should ask those who know folk wisdom. I promised Julian I'd free his beloved. Geralt, do you love someone? Me. I don't know. That's sad. You should fall in love. I must gather raspberries.
What do you want? I need your help on a matter of a spiritual nature. You can trust me. I don't know how to send Alina's spirit into the beyond. That conceited wench? She came to possess a rare and powerful Nehelenia's mirror, which once served oracles and prophets. Alina consulted her mirror quite frequently. The mirror delighted Alina, yet she believes herself alive and is preparing to marry. Lost souls of the dead show a far greater sensitivity than those of the living. Poetic arguments should convince her long enough to see her damned sister. Dandelion will be perfect for that. Good luck, Witcher. Gerald? I need your help. Right. Shoot. I need a poem. A ballad. No problem. But to do it right, I need to know who it's for. Alina. So, what should I write about? Death, Dandelion. Alina is dead, and her spirit roams the fields in daytime. Somehow we have to get her to understand that she's no longer among the living. Hmm, not your everyday commission, but I'm a professional. Any instructions? Don't provoke her, and no jokes. She's dangerous. I'll need time. You have until sunset. Meet in the fields before dusk. Get out? Farewell. Up here. Got any five or it? Iambic or dactylic? Or maybe something. Can I help you? Devil's work. the earth. Grain falls from the stalk. Come away with me, wanderer. Come away with the noon rays. Iambic or dactylic? Or maybe something new? I'm feeling uninspired. What Gerald? 
How's the poem? Could we do this tomorrow? Too late. You'll have to improvise. Master Dandelion, you're to play at my wedding. Milady, Geralt and I have devised a short poem for two voices. Care to listen? Uh, what? Proceed. His lips sealed, his eyes blank, his breast stone cold, his heart has ceased. Still in this world, yet no longer apart, who is this man? The deceased. New life comes as hope springs true, his soul shines by memory embraced. The dead returns to the land of his youth to seek his beloved's face. His breast heaves, yet cold it remains. His lips move, his eyes engrossed. Return to the world, but detained by death. Who is this man? A ghost. Stop! Stop! Selena killed me. My soul shall know no peace until I am avenged. Alina, it's me, Selina. As you can see, you have been avenged. Selina, don't blame yourself. I know you never intended to kill me. I'm filled with regret. Tis justice. I am damned to wander the fields at night till the end of time. Perhaps. But if we were able to lift one curse, I see no reason why we shouldn't. Will you help, Witcher? I'll try. Why did I save Abigail? Were her honor or virtue threatened? No. Because the law was being broken? No. Did I choose the lesser evil? No. The Reverend and his flock made a choice. I'm a witcher. I neither judge nor punish. I solve human problems. Not always using a sword. Geralt? Dandelion, care to explain why? Well done, Geralt. I would have warned you, but I had to rely on a sudden inspiration. Spare me your inspirations in the future. Stop sulking. It worked, didn't it? Gave me an idea. I'll develop that theme into an epic work about folk customs. You're a dangerous monster, as you were in life. I a monster? Then join the dance of death, monster slayer.
Yes. Geralt? I did what I could for Alina. How did it happen? Alina's soul found peace. Selina. Well, there was no way I could help her. Thank you, Geralt. I'm devastated. I was a happy man just a few days ago. Now, I don't know. I may go back to Kovia. Get out? Yeah. I have the distinct feeling you're not telling me everything. How perceptive. There is one more thing. Salamandra wants Alvin. I don't know why, but he's important to them. They sent me here to find him, but I have no intention to. I just want to earn some arms and leave, for good. So, you know nothing more about the attack on Kaer Morin, about the stolen Witcher's formulae? Not a thing. Then I have just one request. Stay away from Alvin. Yeah. Farewell. Yeah. Fair. I know something you don't. Like what? The funny fishman has come back. Those evil fish people finished eating from the lady's altar. Disgusting! The Vodinoid priest has returned? I must speak with him. I've taken Berenger's job. Tell me about this conflict. We underwater live deep. We lady love, yet not all. Many dag on love, lady leave. The humans kill. 
I plead your sword Dagontis love. My give reward. I see. Big blood bovine in village Dagon for her come. This love Dagon. My give reward. Something sword. Something wonderful. You want me to steal the cow and use it to bait Dagon? This love big blood bovine on altar. Dagon come from deep. I'm supposed to kill it on the altar. Prefer human sacrifice. Uraralalu. All right, I'll lure the cow to the altar and kill Dagon. Oak, ghoul pull down. Everything all right? Great sadness. No peace in house. I'm sorry to hear that. Oak. What's Witcher in your language? Witch Malol Bull. Witch Malol? Which my lord bull? Bull must be. No bull means idiot. <laughs> All right, then I'm which my lord bull. Yes, so you be. I saw hostile Vodianoi on the shore. They be evil, Dagon Lalbatol. This love ladies altar. I must had flee. Now they in water and I guard altar again. Look, I'm no cowherd, so I don't quite know how to lure the big blood bovine. Fruits and nuts. Big blood bovine love fruits and nuts. Fruits and nuts? Those peasants are mad. Oh! Farewell. I know everything. Ask me. Take care. Come, Strawberry.
Oh. Farewell. Welcome, Geralt. Forgive me. I don't remember your name. For you do not know it, but I know you. By reputation. I should warn you, Dandelion takes many liberties in his ballads. I have confidence in my source. The mermaid, Shinaz. Mermaid? Yes. Why are you surprised? What did Shinaz tell you? That you prevented conflict between the Prince of Aglaval and the inhabitants of the underwater city of Iz. Thanks to you and your friends, humans and the Vaudianoi of Iz tolerate one another. Encouraging. I hope all goes well here. Shinaz mentioned your intelligence. I invite you to use it. Speak with the Vaudianoi chaplain and the human named Julian. Who are you? They call me the Lady of the Lake. Is that a talkative fisherman your servant? Servant, no. Women on occasion need men. To secure food and protection, naturally. I see. Hosts of knights once defended my honor. But that was long ago. My poor sickly fisher king alone remains. Lady, can I do anything for you? The peace of my land has been disturbed. The humans and the Vodianoi quarrel due to greed, fear, and misunderstanding. I assume each side has an informal leader. You assume correctly. You may speak to the Vodianoi priest near my statue. Julian represents the humans. I'll tend to this. Who is in the right? It's not about who's right. I want them to reconcile. Then you must slay Dagon. To do so, bring me objects symbolizing harmony from both communities. I'll return soon. You will find clues on the nature of these objects on the statue. Yes? Milady, are these what you wanted? Try again, Witcher. Very well. Yes? A lady, you look pensive. Sometimes I see the future, Witcher. Destiny has entangled its threads round a Witcher. 
His path leads into a dark future, into sadness and pain. I wish to help him survive. Who is it, my lady? You, or Berengar. Speak with him, and may one of you take up Destiny's thread. I'll speak to Berengar. Yeah? Milady, do you approve? You sent a troubled soul into the beyond. You revealed Alina to herself with a song. True. Yes? Milady, they say I returned to life but lost my memory. Can you help me? I know you didn't return by chance. First, you must answer. Do you believe in destiny? I am master of my own fate. I trust that in uttering those words you understand their weight. Rejecting destiny renders you responsible for all your choices, good and bad. So be it. Strong in character, indeed. You will regain your identity. I honor your wish to forge your fate. Know that you bear both my blessing and my favor. Thank you, milady. I have one more question. Yes? Milady, what happened to those hosts in shining armor? I fought the legend of the Holy Grail. My bold knights, I know not why, determined to embark on a mission. They claimed it their destiny to find the Holy Grail. Alas, my powers cannot vanquish destiny. I failed at guiding the poor wretches onto the right path. The Grail was never found? Just so. Know you the legend of the Grail? I lost my memory. Speak with a hermit watching over the graves of those brave seekers. Though boring, he knows the Grail's legend perfectly. I'll visit him. If you return intent on a mission of paramount importance, believe me, I can be unpleasant. Milady, you... I expected gifts. Yeah. Have you spoken with the Lady of the Lake? Goddesses don't speak to mere mortals. Spare me the sarcasm. So what momentous news did the local goddess divulge? Just don't get all momentous on me. She spoke about destiny. Destiny doesn't interest me. But if you want to play hero, be my guest. I'll even help. See, I tricked you recently. What? Salamandra actually forced me to betray a few formulae. Subjected me to some tests. I didn't even protest. They paid me well. Why? You know why. I wanted to marry, have children, friends, a normal life. The witches robbed me of that chance. This is nothing new to you. Humans hate me. When they see my eyes, they blanch in fear. And children. 
Tell me, what's the difference between your dear Camoran and a salamandra lab? I'm not here to tell you I'm any better than you. Leave. The mere sight of you irks me. I'm beginning to doubt myself. Farewell. Yeah? Farewell. Geralt? An agreement with the Vodianoi is possible. Think so. That is the will of the Lady of the Lake. Care to take issue? No, Witcher. I'm no fool. In that case, I'll need something that symbolizes your devotion to her and your desire to achieve peace with the Vodianoi. Of course. What shall I give you? The alabaster figure depicting a young Vodianoi capturing a water elemental. Here it is. It would have fetched a fine price in Vizima, but peace is more important.
How can I help? Can I ask what it? I heard you're an expert on the legend of the Holy Grail. You seek the Holy Grail? I might. Let's talk first. Know that the legend of the Holy Grail has been studied for centuries. It's been interpreted in myriad ways. You must know an abridged version. Say, three theories? How can I help? Can I... What it? Why does the Lady of the Lake seem skeptical about the search for the Holy Grail? Many fine knights set out seeking the Grail, abandoning their roles as guardians of peace and justice under the guidance of the Fisher King and the Lady of the Lake. Now the Fisher King is mute and the knight's gone. I think the Lady must be very lonely. But she's a goddess. You know not how lonely a goddess. Do you think goddesses cannot be lonely? The gods ultimately created us in their own image. Remind me what to do. Slay nine. How do I? Find. Yeah. Everything. Greetings, Geralt. Greetings, Alf. Have you forgotten me? Much time has passed since our encounter at the end of the world. I lost my memory. No matter. I am called Teruvial, and I am pleased to find you again. Me too. What brings you here? You mentioned we met. In Dol Blatana, the Valley of the Flowers. A most beautiful place. I granted Dandelion the lute he now plays. Meeting you changed me. I once hated humans without exception. Your words planted doubt. When the war brought all that hatred, I realized there was another way. I'm glad. As am I, Witcher. Is there any way I can help? Indeed. We're wounded and hungry. Negotiations with the peasants went poorly. Our dignity is all we have left. What can I do? You could buy fresh bread. Twenty orange should cover five loaves. I'll return soon. Kedmil Vakgirl. Greetings. Who are you? When the chaos of war surrounds us, few care for beauty and harmony. I ensure that beauty remains in the world. I create customized objects. You're a craftsman? Craftsmen produce useful items. The beauty of my works could awaken the dead. 
I'm here about the notice. Do you have the giant centipede armor? Here. Finally, I'll be able to progress with my work. Take this pouch for your toil. Yes? I'm looking for information on Raven's armor. The legendary Witcher's armor. It has unique magical qualities. I'm listening. It was made in the gnome's workshops, but finished by elves. The songmaster, Tayan Sal, took an interest in Raven's armor and worked for twelve days straight, each movement of his chisel accompanied by a song of power. Legend says that in battle, the armor sang for Raven a song of victory, adding to his confidence and calming him. A beautiful story. Do you know if any records of these songs remain? I would look in crypts if I were you. Find the tomb of the elven songmaster. Objects belonging to him in life must lie in or near his sarcophagus. There are quite a number of you here. We escaped from Vizima. The wounded and sick lie in the cave. If you'd like, speak with our leader, Teruvio. Any trouble from the inhabitants here? The Lady of the Lake reigns in this land. We're safe here, though I have heard of conflict with the Vodianoi. Farewell. Geralt, I'm not surprised to see you. It's me, Chiridan. Recognize me? Chiridan? Apparently not. You were busy. It's been some time. True, Geralt. And see what's come of it. A mess, not assimilation. You work hard, you pay taxes, then come the pogroms. You flee as they torture tavern. Hard times. Good you're here. Why are you here? Same as the rest, eating berries and dreaming of my place on Earth. Try doing something else. Guerrilla warfare can be dangerous. I've survived that. Humans prevented me from living as I wished to. Disdainful times. More bad luck round the corner. Farewell. I'd like to get a letter to Vizima. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Take care. of the lake wants to help resolve the conflict. The Alul be what? The Lady of the Lake wishes the Vodianoi to live in peace with humans. Killing their favorite cow wouldn't help. Your Dagon must is loved, Billy. I can take care of that too, but you'd have to give me something. 
<laughs> Big blood bovine better idea. Yet obedient must be for lady. <laughs> Choose. The gold bracelet. Yes? Milady, I have had a revelation and wish to embark on a mission. Geralt, I'm warning you. The Hermit helped me come to an understanding. Tell me. Soon I will depart. I don't know if I'll find my grail, but I must. I shall not keep you. I do understand your sorrow, your solitude. If I can do anything... Cease treating me like a goddess. I have enough worshippers. I lack one who sees me as other than the object of a cult. Milady, simple folk, they don't understand. I judge them not. But let's return to your desire to help. Begin by paying me a compliment. Hmm. I'm no good at this. Milady, uh, your... Wisdom is inferior only to your goodness. Enough. I choose not to believe you don't find me attractive. Rather, I blame your famous scruples. Milady, your eyes are like stars glimmering in the night sky. Distant and cold. Weak, Witcher. Your ass puts others to shame. <laughs> None has ever paid me such a compliment. My brave knights only praise my soul, though I knew where their eyes fixated. Regardless, Geralt, must I tell you my desire, or can you divine it? <laughs> Why the Fisher King? Hmm. Shinaz called you clever. Yet your voice betrays that tone so typical of males who think they may treat their lovers as property. Milady, I... You think yourself the only, the best, the biggest. Milady. Males are all alike. I'm sorry. I'll be going. You're too old to take offense. Not everyone can master the bedroom. I'm going. I just... It wasn't that bad. Now we are even. Berengar has no interest in destiny. Clearly my vision pertained to you, Geralt. If you say so. When the time comes, I shall aid you with a gift. Yes? Milady, are these what you wanted? Indeed. Here, pour a drop of my blood onto the altar. Challenge Dagon to a duel. So be it.
Yes? I killed Dagon. In gratitude, I will part the curtain of mists, allowing you to recall something of your past abilities. Thank you, milady. Use my gift wisely. Milady, it seems I am needed in murky waters. Destiny has brought you here. We must speak. Naturally. I am a goddess. You are the sword of destiny. Death has followed you for years. Perhaps. Accept this gift from the Lady of the Lake. It will help you fulfill your destiny. What gift is that? Kneel, Geralt of Rivia, White Wolf. You traveled a long path fraught with danger. You demonstrated courage and goodness. By divine power, I hereby knight you. Face your enemies without fear. Safeguard the helpless. Never lie, even if it means your death. That is your oath. Arise, a knight. Destiny will give you no rest. A long road lies ahead. I see death and blood. I see frosty chaos. Take this sword as a sign of my favor. Once the blade of a great warrior, it lay in the depths for ages, awaiting your arrival. Milady. Shh, Witcher. It matters not if you believe in destiny. With the blade I present you, you will complete your mission. Thank you, my lady. Go, White Wolf, and do what must be done. May you fulfill your destiny. I betrayed Kier Morin's location to the Salamandra leader. Then I helped them with their research. I was hunting the beast in the outskirts of Vizima when they captured me. I escaped and ran into Kalkstein, accepting his offer to open the tower in the swamp. That's when they nabbed me again. They weren't as nice the second time around. Finding Alvin, bringing him to them, was the only way I could save my skin. Why are you telling me this? I wanted to tell you to your face. See that famous icy glare of yours.
I don't intend to judge you. Does that mean you understand? You don't condemn me? I can't condone your choices, but I guess I understand. Meaning? Do what you think is right. I'm not your nanny. Take this. We'll meet again, White Wolf. job I need to finish. Come with me if you like. Geralt of Rivia. I've oft heard of your death. Forgive me, but I don't think I've ever heard of yours. White Rayla. What brings you here, Witcher? Slaying monsters. Nothing unusual. Have you seen a unit of elves in the area? No. No units. Watch what you say. You're hardly untouchable. If I discover you working with the Scoyotel... Threatening me? No. Merely helping you to avoid a serious error whose consequences might prove too dire for you to handle. You watch your step, too. I'm not some emaciated elf. I can defend myself. I don't doubt it. Know that Vizima is burning. Non-humans have turned it into a war zone. Those poor starving elves are murdering humans by the dozen. My orders are to halt the unit to Ruvia Lepsha heal commands, and I won't have you getting in my way. They're cowering in the village and have taken hostages. We'll attack soon. I'll talk to the elves. Maybe they'll listen to reason. Siegfried vouched for you, so I'll give you a chance. Your intervention at the bank prevented the Scoyotel from gaining gold to buy arms and provisions. Though weak, I doubt they'll heed you. But you never know. Promise them a fair trial if they lay down their arms. I'll try to persuade them. Wait until I return. You have my word. As White Rayla's adjutant, I would like a word with you, Witcher. I spoke to Rayla. Heard enough for today. Rayla is an excellent officer and truly detests non-humans. Perfect to lead this mission. But let me guess. Though she's a mercenary, she has her honor and keeps her word. Yet she's prepared to avert a massacre of civilians, even if that means the elves will escape. We foiled the robbery at Vivaldi's bank, and the Scoyotel are weakened. We can afford the best mercenaries. Yet we cannot trust Rayla as we trust you. Looking to recruit me? Am I to stand with Rayla and kill the elves before they murder the hostages? Give me one good reason why I shouldn't just walk. I'll put it in your terms. Monsters infest the village, hunt its inhabitants. They are destitute and hungry and all the more dangerous for that. Stand with Rayla, Witcher, with the order against these monsters. Why would I do that? For some of Vivaldi's gold? No to support a just cause and prevent a massacre like that in the outskirts, and to save your friends from ravenous beasts.
Geralt? Dandelion. Teruviel's elves have taken hostages in the village. What do we do? I spoke with Rayla. She's leading the Knights of the Order. Geralt. Alvin's one of the hostages. I know. I'll try negotiating with them. All right. I'll keep a lookout behind the village mayor's house. When you're ready, come tell me what to do. I need to talk to White Rayla and Teruviel. Somehow I doubt this will be easy. You'll manage. See you. strange. I can hear what they're thinking. It's terrible, Geralt. Do you have the necklace? Yes, I wear it all the time. I don't want to hear them. Geralt, why are the elves doing this? They've lost their lofty, beautiful veneer. One can clearly see the deep hatred they hold for humans. I'll remember that, Geralt. Something bad is about to happen. I can feel it. I've got to talk to Teruviel. Stay here. Oh. We'll die with dignity, hmm. spitting in the face of humans. <laughs> Geralt, why have you come? I've come to prevent a massacre. There will be no massacre if they let us depart. You could have left the children alone. In faith I could not. White Rayla stands on that shore. Several peasant corpses made no impression on her. The children halted her advance. White Rayla wants you to lay down your arms. She guarantees you a fair trial. You take me for a fool, Witcher. White Rayla exacts only one punishment, death. The unit from the Zima spoke of you. Why should I trust you? Release the peasants, then you can kill each other as you please. I shall release no one. Try any of your tricks and these Dwan will die. And tell that singer to cease lurking behind the house before someone puts an arrow in his arse. Damn, I'm hungry. Geralt? Dandelion, things have gone from bad to worse. Scoyatel on one side, the Order on the other, and us in the middle with Alvin. One should never negotiate with terrorists. Negotiation leads to concessions. Concessions are a victory for terror. Folks become fearful, uncertain. I chose the lesser evil. The Bank's new owners were grateful for the Order's intervention. They agreed to support the crusade against non-humans. We won't need to wait long to see the results. Geralt, what now? Leaving's not an option. You'd make enemies of both the Order and the non-humans. I'm not worried about that. I'd rather save Alvin, but if I go, there could be a massacre, and I have friends to think about. Witcher, this feels like a pivotal moment. What you do will have consequences. So do we grab Alvin and leave them to it? No, I intend to help the Knights. Don't get involved, Geralt. Nothing good ever comes of it. I've decided. Care to help? 
Sure. I want to get Alvin out of here. I can't allow him to be harmed in any way. The little one has come to love you as a son loves a father. We do not kill children. Take him with you. Witcher. What happened? Fucking fanatics, not an ounce of professionalism. They stripped me of my command. When I refused to attack, my adjutant pulled out a letter from Siegfried. Had it all along. Well... How did it go? I helped the knights, Rayla. The elves are dead. Teruviel escaped, and the villagers are in shock. You'd best leave. I don't intend to stay. Teruviel hasn't seen the last of me. Farewell. Time I was on my way. Gerald? Berengar. I have his confession. It contains some clues that could be important. Clues? We haven't finished with Salamandra. Azar Javed, the mage who attacked Kaer Morin, is somewhere in Vizima. He feared neither sorcerer nor the hosts of the damned. You're raving, Dandelion. And walked bravely on, his destiny to meet. Let's go. Geralt? 
This is bad. Really bad. What happened? Alvin opened a portal and disappeared. He could be anywhere. We need to get back to Vizima. Triss might have some ideas. Vizima it is, then. After you. We arrive in Vizima soon. Hmm. Smell that? Yeah. Smoke. Something's burning. Heavy and stifling. Like thatched roof huts. Damn it, Geralt, look! God damn it, Geralt. I can't believe what I'm seeing. You should be used to the sight of fighting by now, Dandelion. We should never grow accustomed to violence and horror, especially the sensitive among us. Luckily, we mutants have no feelings, is that what you mean? Nose to the ground, forging on. You're like a bloodhound on a fresh trail. Old Vizima awaits. Probably the sight of the heaviest fighting, then there's the plague. We need to get inside. Finally, I'll find out who's behind Salamandra. Geralt? You sure you want to come? I'd never desert you. I want to help. But matters may get intense. I hope you don't think I'm scared. Not at all. I knew you'd be back sooner or later. You missed a lot. Greetings, Vincent. Why are you here? I'm responsible for King Radovid's safety while he's in Temeria. We'd be deep in it if anything would have happened to him. Has Foltest returned? Yes. He's an old Vizima. Knowing whose orders we're following really boosted morale. I need to get into old Vizima. I stand a chance of getting in alone, but not with... Do you follow? What's going on? I have a job for you, Dandelion, regarding King Radovid. The Witcher's flapping tongue would be a liability. Why do I think you're up to something? It's true. I'm not suited to converse with kings. Done. Dandelion, wait for me at the king's camp. Geralt, do what you must. What are you doing here? Stretching my legs. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> you all right, Zoltan? Haven't started taking fist tech, have you? Nah, I'm just allergic to bastards. Spare me. What's going on? What's going on? Kids are orphaned one day and kill the next. Your precious order is slaughtering women, children, civilians, everyone. The elven civilians have returned a few blows. Virtually all non-humans have taken up arms. Turns out they trapped healthy non-humans with sick humans in Old Vizima to finish us with a plague. Have proof? Yes! <laughs> Allergy's still bothering me. Here's what Shani said. Zoltan, how can a witcher be so stupid? Those murdering knights could have spared the civilians. Yada, yada, yada. Go away, you're aggravating my allergy.
this? Sire, this is madness. You should not expose yourself to such danger. Wait here and allow me to summon a stronger force. Nonsense, Velorad. This is my city, the capital of my kingdom. Damn it, I rule this land, and I refuse to creep around its corners. Hey, gracious Sire! Silence! You know you might as well wipe your ass with those intelligence reports. I want to see it with my own eyes. Attacking! Uh, protect the king! Turn, sire. I trust you are not too late. Your kingdom is in need. You should know kings are never late, Jacques. Sire, flames engulf half the city, and the blood of your subjects fills the gutters. This is no time for word games. You must act. What do you propose? Allow me to command your army, and the freedom to do as I see fit. Never. Over my dead body. It was close this time. Next time, I might arrive too late to help. I've seen enough. Velorad, back to the castle.
What is he doing here? He dropped in. He seems to have a talent for that. What should I do with him? He'll come with us. I have a matter to discuss with him. Witcher of Rivia. Sire, I am honored. As I'm sure you surmised, I have not summoned you here out of whim. A serious matter weighs upon us. A curse binds my daughter. I want you to remove it. I have gathered all who might offer aid. Duet has been the princess's adjutant for the past half year. Velarad has known Ada since her childhood. And Triss Merigold is here for her extensive knowledge of magic and female intuition. Mm-hmm. Consult them and think upon this matter. We shall speak about it again soon. As you wish, Your Highness. In the meantime, equally urgent issues demand our attention. I'm listening, sire. Witcher, imagine returning home from an excursion against a monster, a Kikimor, for instance, only to discover your home a whorehouse. Your Highness. I'm not finished. Those you left in charge failed you. A traitor threatens to oust you from the home of your ancestors. Wouldn't you be angered? Would you not elect to shed more blood? Absolutely, sire. The non-humans must pay. With your backing, the Order... Unfortunately, the Knights have forgotten their place. They've developed a taste for power and want more. That is not something I can allow. You stood by while the Order's power increased. Perhaps you should negotiate with the Grand Master. And perhaps I should behead the Grand Master and his underlings. That would solve the problem. Sadly, it's not that simple. I'm certain you're right, sire. I must attend to some urgent matters. Speak with these excellent minds. Gain their insight. And don't forget my daughter, Witcher. I'm counting on you. I won't forget. My servant will summon you when I have more time. I rule a land of idiots. Greetings, Geralt. Greetings, Velarad. I saw you uh, speaking with the king. I gather it was unpleasant. It could be worse. Geralt. Aren't you a bit afraid, Velarad? The king looked irate. At me? I'd watch what I say if I were you. Hmm. I've served Temeria all my life. If they condemn me, I'll hold my head high as I walk to the gallows. The king told me about Ada. Dreadful. You warned us it might return. Uh, can you break the spell a second time? We'll see. You seem to remember last time well. Certainly. You stayed from dusk till dawn in the old manor house where the Strigger had her sarcophagus. Kept half the city awake with the noise you made. We uh, went to the manor at dawn and saw the two of you lying on the floor by the sarcophagus in a pool of blood. You were barely breathing, but the princess was cured. With the traitor Ostrid dead, the king was overjoyed. Who was Ostrid? He cast the curse out of jealousy. He loved the king's sister. Hmm. Many victims this time round? I don't know. These days, the corpse is like thicker than flies on a pile of manure. Know where the Strigger sleeps in daytime? No, but she's been seen in old Vizima. She may hunt there. Removing the princess's curse will be risky. True, but the king has ways of encouraging you to do it. We'll see. Do what you will. But remember, Foltest loves his daughter very much. I know. Geralt. Farewell. Geralt, I was worried about you. I worried too. I'm proud of you. Heard how you fought for Alvin. Horrible things are happening in Vizima. True, but the king has placed me under his, um, protection. Tell me, where's Alvin? Uh, Alvin vanished into thin air one day, despite the amulet I gave him. Vanished? That's awful. He might be anywhere in time and space. I had hoped the amulet would block those abilities. I hope he'll be all right. Triss, I've been thinking. 
about us. Oh, Geralt. I love you. I want to be with you no matter what. Love is the sole thing of beauty in these rotten times. Geralt. I could change, take fewer risks. We'd find Alvin, live together. I'd build a house. A house? Nice dream. You could breed horses and sheep. I'd tend the garden, cook meals. We'd sell what we grew to buy copper pots, iron rakes. We'd age with dignity. Evenings you'd play bagpipes of your own making as a remedy for my gloom. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... Geralt, say something. I can't lose you. I'm here. These are trying times. We just need to survive. We can dream again when the madness passes. Triss, I... I love you too, Geralt. To the end of time. Geralt. What do you think about the situation with Ada? She's a Striga, Geralt. We both know that curses don't cast themselves. Any theories? Years ago when you first removed the curse, you ordered the princess to wear a necklace with an inclusion. Juniper, broom, and hazel branches were to be burned in her chambers. Don't tell me. Someone replaced the necklace and added crap to the fire. Yes. Someone close to her who knew the secret. Velared might know something. So you think I should aid the king? Definitely. In a sense, I'm a political prisoner. I could teleport away, but that would be highly inappropriate, and I still have a few matters to settle here. What might those be? I wouldn't dream of boring you with them. I know you're busy slaying non-humans. It's not like that. Oh, excuse me. Quelling a rebellion. Is that what they call it? Eliminating terrorists? I see no difference. I've got to go. Witcher? Count. No titles, please. Let us bury past misunderstandings in the name of a greater cause. So be it. Geralt? Don't you fear the King's anger, Dewet? Wherever did you get that idea, Witcher? Foltest looked pretty pissed. He said something about bloodshed. Obviously, he spoke of the blood of traitors and non-humans. He might finally dispose of that failure Velerad. The king wants me to lift the curse that holds Ada. Not surprising. You succeeded once, though it nearly cost you your life. The Sliga's appearance possibly spells the end for Foltest. Many say he offended the gods. Remember how she first became a Sliga? I do, but I don't care much what people say. I'm interested in the present. Then simply get rid of the Sliga. The chance of removing the curse is minimal. I've heard a rumor of an additional reward for killing the Striga. Would the rumor mention how much? Five thousand orans. Nice number. Any idea who's spreading this rumor? No. However, there are other things to consider. If you do solve the Striga problem, the king might take his savior's advice. Have anything specific in mind? A fresh yet unsigned decree on the king's desk disbands the order. If you ask the king to reconsider, well, your friend Siegfried would be grateful. Our merciful master will see you now, sir. Go upstairs to his chambers. I'll go immediately. Geralt. Farewell. Witcher. Your Highness. No need for titles. Speak freely. You've had time to think. What's the prognosis on removing the curse from my daughter? It's possible. Could the curse have returned by itself? Unlikely. Someone must have cast it again. 
Should you succeed, would... Would Ada's mind be that of a child? I don't believe so. She'd likely recall all that occurred before her transformation. You don't believe so? You're not making this any easier, Geralt. Do what you can to remove the curse. Failing that, you may slay her without fear of retribution from me. When I last gave you my trust, you did not disappoint me. Thank you, sire. Don't thank me yet. Should you learn who cast the curse, tell me and only me. If you succeed, I'll grant your every wish within reason, of course. If you must slay her, do it quickly, cleanly. If you fail and my daughter suffers, those dear to you will suffer too. I understand, sire. Good. Sire, another disease consumes your kingdom. What would that be, Witcher? I have been investigating an organization known as Salamandra. My daughter dealt with them, stupid girl. I regret I ever departed. To your credit, Venerad said you thinned their ranks considerably. I trust you shall finish the matter. Exactly my aim. One last matter, Witcher. Forgive me, but I had you followed. I received a report about your personal life. Your Highness? You must know that I hardly did this out of lewd curiosity. My spies report that you are romancing Merigold. I need to know if there is anything more to it. Triss and I, we're close. That's no one's business but ours. No need to be rude, Witcher. I too loved Adder's mother. They forbade me from marrying her. But I hope you fare better. At least as a mutant, you need not worry about pregnancy. If you desire to go to Vizima, talk to my Chamberlain. I shall be away from the castle for some time. See Velorad about any other needs. So I shall. Farewell, sire. in the Duchy of Toussaint? A witcher once spent an entire holiday feast dancing with a sorceress. Not I, my lady. I dance rather poorly. Hmm. Do all witchers have white hair? No, my lady. I am alone in that. Perhaps I am confused. Regardless, I do have a certain matter for you. How can I help? Très bien. Mon Dieu. My three cousins recently fled the city due to some uh, unfortunate coincidences. Did they incur the king's disfavor? Of a sort. I wish to send them some coin to alleviate their situation. Understand? Perfectly. I'll act as messenger for an appropriate fee. Ah, parfait! My cousins Corbin, Bus, and Ramoreau sought refuge in the swamp, in the caves there. Please deliver 300 orens to each of them. As for my fee... My cousins will give you a receipt. Take these to Ovezima, to the captain of the mercenaries, my fiancé. He will reward you. Farewell. Geralt. I've got... Geralt. Farewell. Yes? I'd like to return to Vizima. Are you ready, sir? I am.
Greetings, Witcher. I knew we would meet again sooner or later. Greetings, Rayla. Get your unit back? Yes. My reward for that elven slut. I told you I'd hunt her down. Teruviel? That's the one. Yavin's bitch. I handed her over to the boys, then we hung her. I've never seen anyone fight so fiercely. Decision time. A turning point. Stand aside, or fight non-humans. I chose to fight. Neutrality gone. The skirmish at Murky Waters was the first of several victories for the Order. The uprising nears its end. I just hope the victory is not too costly. They say Yavin's gone wild. Chaos reigns in the Elven ranks. I see that. They're attacking without rhyme or reason. Try to keep up. We'll head to the field hospital in the center of Olvazima. I've already killed 20 Scoyatel. I wager you can't beat that. Any purpose to this excursion, apart from killing? Siegfried waits with important orders for me. Ready?
You couldn't have killed more long ears than I. You forgot the ones I killed on the dike. Hmm. We'll consider it a tie then, and finish this contest later. Why are you looking at me that way? I was thinking about a certain legend. Ever heard of Raven's armor? Hmm. Where would I find an armorer capable of making Witcher's armor? The Order's armorer is excellent. He has a shop somewhere here in Old Vizima. All right, I'll find him. Shani's an angel. I swear on the eternal fire, her hands work miracles. No doubt. Are you badly hurt? Merely a scratch. Shani confirmed I'd be back on my feet in no time. Looks like your wound was caused by a... Hmm. Giant cleaver. Swung by a berserk butcher dwarf. He cut down three brothers, but I got him. Siegfried, every child knows to stay away from berserk dwarves. You were lucky. Welcome. You've set up a hospital. Clever. Do you have a minute? I have my hands full. Besides, I'm apparently not worthy of your trust. What are you talking about? Alvin. You made it perfectly clear who's worthy of a witcher's trust and who's not, who you'd sleep with on occasion, and who you'd entrust with a child. But... Enough. The wounded need my help. Master! Are you a witcher? I am. What is it? Master Geralt, the she-beast is murdering people. What happened? The Strigger appeared by the tower. I was sent to get a witcher. Already five soldiers have breathed their last. Help us. Which tower? The tallest in the district. The one the Skyatel set ablaze. Hospital. You know, I nearly joined a convent once. Tough to believe. Got me. I've always preferred killing to healing. Tend to your business. We'll meet later. Step and things will get
Finally, that monster is dead. Why are you here? I heard soldiers were fighting a Striga, so I came to see Vizima's famous Striga princess. Though not a Striga, still interesting. Don't get too excited, Kolkstein. I'll pay these good soldiers to take these remains to my laboratory, and later I'll... Hold it. If not a Striga, what is it? A combination of alchemy, genetics, biology, and black magic. A mutant like you. I can't wait to have a closer look. Like me? Similar. Magic and alchemy accelerates the mutation. The side effects are practically uncontrollable. It's hellishly quick and strong. To know more, I'd have to dissect it. I suspect I know who's behind this. Do you know where it came from? The soldier said it came from the Swamp Cemetery. Take this scroll. It details the formula for a powerful potion that will help if you choose to fight the Striga. Salamandra grows bolder. Accelerated mutation and experiments on humans is a dirty business. And all based on stolen witches' secrets. Which you guarded for years without succumbing to any of these temptations. Congratulations. All right, but what about this Striga? If the soldiers were wrong... I heard rumors of certain events in the swamp. What rumors? Be quick. They say a corpse was found at the old chapel there, torn open. The large intestine stretched to its full one and a half meters. All six and a half meters of the small intestine wrapped around... That's fine. Thanks. What happened with the Striga? False alarm. Some mutant was attacking the soldiers. Need help? No more than anyone else. Let me decide. Shani. You seem to be in one piece. Not worried about Knights of the Order or Elves showing up? They both think you're treating the enemy. For me, they aren't enemies, just wounded. In this hospital, we make no racial or political distinctions. I came to understand that at Brenna. Rusty treated Nilfgaardians and our own, even shielded a patient with his own body when Elves showed up. If they come here, I hope I have the courage to protect my patients. I'm sure you will, though I'd rather you escaped. Nice to hear. Why are you telling me this? What's that sound? You die, treating humans, I see. We wound them so they'll die. And you're treating them. How illogical, and contrary to our interests. Out of my hospital! Murder each other to your heart's content in the street, but don't show your faces here. Shani, watch out! Kill the Dwan! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
wanted to slay the wounded. How can anyone fall so low? I've seen worse in town. Thank you. On behalf of all the patients. They shouldn't bother you anymore. See you later. Farewell. If not for Mishani. Some kind of curse. We'll all die. Some kind they of curse. They attacked the hospital. Unbelievable. Come on, bastards. I'll cut your balls off. Wait. History repeats itself. But this time we'll cut off more than your hand. Try it, Elvin Hag. I am White Railer. I don't fear you, Elvin Sadists. Hear the wolf pack? <laughs> Managed, but thanks. Don't mention it. Come, we'll speak where it's safer. We must attack the barricade and hold it until reinforcements arrive. Retreat, and the Scoia'tael will control almost all of old Vizima. In a moment, I must speak to Rayla. As a warrior, you're almost ideal. Almost? Yes, almost. There may be no man who can defeat you, but a female. You mean yourself? Possibly, but I meant in general. You're very old-fashioned. You'd never hit a woman, or at least you'd hesitate. I don't think so. Stop pretending, Geralt. We both know a conscience can be deadly. Hesitate, and there'll be a blade in your gut before you know it. You're deluded. I'll prove it. We both know you'd never draw your sword against a woman. I know other ways to tame you. Ha! <laughs> Prove it, if you can.
Taste the order's steel. Rayla is trapped at the barricade. We must help her. Let's move. We'll flank them. Attack! Attack! Secured. We must break through the barricade. What then? We must get to the other flank, to Rayla. To the dogs, this world is going. No further. Understood? For the flaming rose! Good you're here. This place is going to hell. On my honor. That's no way for a lady to speak. Shut up, Tin Man. This is their last line of defense. Onward! After you, my lady. is ours. Victory! Rayla, wait.
a fine warrior. May the eternal fire illuminate her soul. Amen. A great loss for the Order. I must inform the Grand Master. He was last seen near the Swamp Cemetery. I'm headed that way. We should go immediately. What now? I'll take care of the Striga. Her lair is somewhere around here. Hmm. I don't know if I can help you with fierce fighting in that area. The Grand Master is to command the offensive personally. I may be summoned shortly. I'll manage. I'll escort you, at least part of the way through the swamps. Witcher, I all right? You arrived just in time. I am Jacques de Aldersberg, Grand Master of the Order of the Flaming Rose. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. I have heard much about you and know of your deeds from a very trustworthy source. Explain, please. <laughs> Geralt of Rivia asking me for explanations. He who so generously lavishes his wisdom upon others. Forgive me for not laughing. I just didn't get the joke. I don't intend to explain. Unlike you, I want to act. I want to laugh when I recall your pseudo-philosophical reflections. Witcher, only time can teach us. Only with perspective can one understand what is right. Who is human? Who a monster? What is evil? And how to overcome it? I'm in no mood to guess. So why don't you just tell me what made you so bitter? Otherwise, we should part. Forgive me, I can get irritable. No, they sometimes tell me of your deeds. And though I don't approve of them all, I'm always genuinely interested to hear them. And how did I earn the interest of the Grand Master of the Order of the Flaming Rose? I like to know what goes on in Temeria. It helps me appear in the right place at the right time. Mm -hmm. Incidentally, thanks for your help. Though you're not human, Every knight's duty is to aid those in need. An element of our vocation. Sounds lovely. Do you know anything about the Order? The Order is an idea. From its foundations to its pinnacle. Our mission. Our vision. Our objective is a new world. A new order that will come after the White Frost. A world in which all will get what they merit. Not by birth or through connections. A world where the strong help the weak, and crime is duly punished. A world of clear principles and ideals. You must know, anyone can join, be they peasant, merchant, even witcher. Knights collect no payment, and are promoted for great deeds. That's an ideal worth fighting for. I shall remember those words. Siegfried, fall in. We need your strength and tactical wit. Yes, sir. Don't let me keep you, but I don't like to owe favors. You've paid your debt. I don't understand. You owe me nothing. Our rest is over. Fall in. Farewell. I'm going to Vizima with the Grand Master. I'll come and help as soon as I can. See ya.
With your Gerald? Yes. Is it true you have access to Foltest Court? The king has hired me. No matter. I only wonder if you met my charming cousin Antoinette. I did. Here's your gold. Many thanks. Richard, yes? You are at true. Did indeed. Ah. What is it, traveler? What are you doing here? We are organizing a protest against logging and the murder of endangered species. Now's not the best time. After the rebellion, we'll lead our green march onto the foot of the royal castle. We'll protest until the king hears us. We prepared our chants like, Hey ho, logging must go, or animal murder stops now. I'd suggest putting off your protest for a long while. Nature calls for help. Farewell. Sir, have you seen my son? He has straw-colored hair, freckles on his nose, a child, twelve winters to him. Sorry, I haven't. I've been burning fires here to lead him through the mists. Oh, my dear son. I hope you find him. I seek the Striga that has its lair somewhere around here. Sir, you see that old church on the hill? The Striga lives in the crypt. She awakes at night and roams about in search of blood. She leaves you alone? Once she came for me, I didn't run, for I light this fire to guide my son through the night. The monster hesitated, then ran on. Since then, she's avoided me. Interesting. 
But I saw her catch a man once. Horrifying. Tell me. Elves set my neighbor's home ablaze and cut them to bits. I've decided to flee the city. They tried to draft me into the army. Luckily, King Foltest has returned. He'll put those non-humans back on their leashes. Rightly so. Know what I'll tell you? Seen any squirrels nearby? No. They've all gone to Vizima, cursed non-humans. What did we ever do to them? I found a place nearby where those sons of whores took a human and tortured him. They buried the poor soul up to his neck and covered his head in syrup. Nearby was an ant hill with red ants as big as your thumb. I can imagine the rest. All kind, sir. Farewell. They burned my house down, destroyed all my property. What shall I do? Greetings, Geralt. Foltes asked me to check on your progress. Trust is fundamental. True, but this particular monster is his daughter. Why are you here? Foltes well knows someone meddled with the curse. He cannot believe Ada turned into a beast by herself. The crypt may hide evidence. Foltest asks that you search the sarcophagus where the princess sleeps. Surrender any evidence you find. I'll fulfill the king's order. Now show me to the princess. Follow me.
And... Shutting me in that crypt. Nice gesture, Velorad. Sorry, which, uh, King's orders? The Strig is dead. It's safe now. Ah, Witcher. Should have slain her the first time for a pot of gold. Would have ended the problem. I had no choice. The curse could not be lifted. Shame. I'd been counting on you succeeding. Someone induced the princess's transformation into a Striga. I have proof. Where? The king wanted to be the first to know. Fine. Is that all? The king said, if you want to cure the disease, you must go to the old manor. He uh, said you would understand. I do. Farewell. Farewell, Witcher. Last. Who are you? Antoinette's cousin. You must be her messenger. Is that how you greet all strangers? Oh, enough games. No one normal ventures into the swamp these days. Where is my gold? Here. Thanks. Finally, I can return home.
State your business, Witcher. Let me pass, Duet. You look terrible, like you haven't slept all night. I'm tired, Count. May I pass? My dear Geralt. I spent the night with a Striga, so my patience runs thin. With a Striga? To what end? Did you kill her? She's no longer a problem. I found evidence of a traitor in the Princess's entourage. Any idea who? Not yet, but it's only a matter of time. I discovered a useful diary. Triss Marigold also knows some helpful spells. You should give me Ostrit's diary. The Grandmaster commands magic better than that witch Marigold. I never mentioned whose diary. But... Ah, oh, to hell with it. Witcher, join me. Align yourself with the Masters of a New Order. With me, Roderick Duet, the future Viceroy of Tomeria. Who are you working for, Duet? I thought you had it figured out. I'm working with Salamandra, for now. Think you can outsmart them? They're but a means to an end. Join me. You're pathetic. Do I not fit your vision of a noble knight of the Order? I weep to hear it, Witcher. <laughs> You're a boil on this city's ass, and boils are lanced with a blade. Surrender!
Greetings, Geralt. Have you met Rayla? A singular transformation gave her the gift of life. Geralt! A singular transformation. The gift of life. You call that enslaved bag of blood and muscles alive? Better than alive, perfect. You'll learn that soon enough. This was your experiment? You're pathetic. Rilla, darling, you won't permit this mongrel to insult your master. <sighs> Geralt! Show <laughs> Defense, bitch. <laughs> 
What manner of beasts are they? The result of Salamandra's genetic experiments. I came as quickly as I could. It's appreciated. Witcher! What's the situation in Vizima? The rebellion has yet to be quelled, but the Grand Master is regrouping his armies for a final blow. The King is holding back on disbanding the Order. When we defeat the non-human rebels, he'll be satisfied with the Grand Master's policies. So, he's kept his word. The Grand Master always keeps his word. I meant full test. And? Never mind, Siegfried. I was thinking out loud. Witcher! The old manor is Salamandra's main base. The front gate's of little use, but there's another way in. An old well goes straight down into the cave. Wait, I must do something first. Witcher. The old the front lead the way. There's more. Inside the cave. Go straight until you find a small passage. You're not coming? Squeeze through. Into the old manor's catacombs. Then, you're on your own. What about you? We'll wait here. See you. Thank <laughs> you. 
admired you. Shame. You might have made a good couple. This farce is over. As you wish. Behold my Koshche. The perfect killer. Thank <laughs> you. 
Irritating. You just cut off my Koshche, the result of much labor. Now to resolve this matter through more traditional means. I can't wait. My, how threatening that sounded. I warned you, pissing up wind leads to disaster. You talk too much. Scared? This time you pissed in a tornado. Kill him. Your turn, Javed. I learned long ago only to rely on myself. Before I kill you, you must know. Triss Marigold is being dragged to the laboratories as we speak. Torture will follow. Everyone breaks sooner or later. It's merely a question of time. What say you, Witcher? Still the indifferent tough guy? You're bluffing. You send assassins after me, conjure up beautiful words, threaten to kill me but you're scared to death and simply postponing the inevitable. Alar Zar Bintala. Berengar? I was afraid I'd be late. Can you use a hand? For a second there, I wasn't sure if... I'm surprised to see you. I needed to think. Coward, you know the punishment you face. You can evade it by slaying Geralt of Rivia. You may earn my mercy. Your threats don't impress me anymore. Prepare, sorcerer. I've come here for you. We'll meet again, White Wolf. Berenger made his decision. He knew where Javed was hiding. He also knew I'd find the sorcerer sooner or later. He knew that facing Javed alone was suicide for either of us.
Javed, can you hear me? What's going on? How are the experiments progressing? I urgently need those mutated knights of the Order in Vizima, and send me more failed ones. At this stage, I can afford no delays. Respond! Javed's dead. Which a Geralt? Expect to see me, Grandmaster. Soon. Finally. I was worried. I'm not easy to kill. Nor you, apparently. Discover anything in the catacombs? You won't like this. Witcher! The Salamander leader is dead. Excellent. And the bad news? It seems that the Order is behind Salamandra. What? That's impossible. You lie. There's evidence, Siegfried. We should notify the King before it's too late. We'll use a boat at the dock. Let's meet there. Excellent. I can't meditate with a fire out. Seems I have to light it first. Witcher! Tell me about the Grand Master. Soldiers respect him. You'd follow him into the most desperate fights and still believe in victory. Any magical talents? I've heard his sheer willpower raised the Iron Gate of a castle under siege. Must be a powerful sorcerer. He's also an excellent swordsman. Is the boat ready? Yes. Grab the oars. Sire, victory. Despite heavy losses, we now control the trade quarter. Excellent. What news from De Wet? He's dead. Cut down by that godless butcher, the Witcher. Useless De Wet. Have the town criers informed the people Adder has become a Strigger? Yes, but the Witcher found the beast. Geralt of Rivia. Only he stands between me and... We must fan the flames of chaos. Release more of our experiments, and let the Elves wreak havoc. Grandmaster, I must protest, as a nobleman and representative of... Enough! Give the people more food, and tell them any God-fearing human can find shelter at the castle of the Order of the Flaming Rose. Adalbert, I thank you for your loyal service. Take him away. 
A new era dawns. An era of superhumans. None will stop me. I appoint you my new adjutant. Know your assignment? Kill the Witcher. Then go. Geralt, you've arrived at a moment that should be called nothing short of historic. Dandelion, I'm glad you're alive too, but I have important matters. More important than a Temerian redaining alliance with far-reaching consequences? Stop being dramatic and tell me what's happening. In front of Siegfried? I thought the order was out of favor. This part of the order is on our side. Though the Grand Master violated his oath, not all knights have lost both mind and conscience. Full test will be glad. Negotiations with Radovid are apparently going well, and it seems we're gaining another strong ally. We. Oui. When in Vizima, I'm a Temerian patriot. Let's speak with the king. He must learn the truth before he passes rash judgment on the order. Welcome, Witcher. Sire. We have several things to discuss. Of course. Stop deliberating, son. We need to put out the fire in this whorehouse. We'll renegotiate customs duties later. Now we must take action. Nothing doing with the marriage, but believe me, that pains me more than it does you. Sire. Anna. Silence, Geralt. I'll have your head. Don't get excited, Radovid. I've taken the brunt of the loss. Now, one thing at a time. You shall receive the three hamlets we spoke of. The Witcher will kill the Aldersburg. What? We said five hamlets. I'm not a hitman. All right. It'll cost you ten thousand. Don't overdo it. I'm a fucking king and I deserve some respect. Three villages for you, my would-be son-in-law, and eight thousand orans to the Witcher. It's a deal. So be it. My armies will embark on a mission of fraternal assistance as soon as we sign the preliminary treaty. We shall figure out those towns later. I don't want any fraternal assistance. Somehow the phrase evokes images of burnt villages and orphaned children roaming the countryside. This land has suffered enough. You're to smash the order and return home. <clears throat> Forgive me, your majesties, but I feel it's time I... One more thing, Witcher. Yes? So, let's talk politics. And don't you dare mention neutrality. Judging by your company, you're already involved, possibly up to your nose. Sire, your wish is my command. To the average pleb in the street, the Order is fighting my armies, but make no mistake. This is a confrontation between me and the Grand Master, that ambitious fanatic. Directed all of Salamandra's actions and intentionally provoked the uprising. What do you mean? I thought you'd be interested, Sire. Very interested. That makes the Grand Master, him alone, the enemy. Is that clear? As day. The Grand Master, rather than the Order as a whole, is the Kingdom's enemy. And the Order need not be a foe. Led by someone sensible, it could be a friend to the people. It could be loyal to the King. Hear that, Siegfried? I do, and I understand. And I shall do everything to save the Order, my King. I knew you could be trusted. After your official investiture, visit me at the palace. We have much to discuss, Grandmaster. You count your wyverns before they hatch. Jacques de Aldersburg is alive and well. Sire, one other matter. Yes? Sire, the Striga gave me no choice. I had to. I do not wish to speak of it. I'm not vengeful, so you needn't fear any unpleasantness from me. But never mention her name to me again. As you wish, sire. Witcher, I wish to know who was behind all this. De Wet transformed the princess. How so? On Salamandra's orders. The bastard! If I could get my hands on him! Those responsible assumed your position would be undermined if the princess wreaked havoc as a striga. De Wet has been punished. I'm glad to hear it. 
Now go. Vizima is burning, fighting rages. You won't have an easy time of it. Four feet tall, and a body like a barrel of beer. A mouth from ear to ear, filled with dagger-like teeth. Claws like a wildcat, and red irate eye. I doubt King Radovid would have wanted a bride like that. The union of the two largest northern kingdoms fell through. The young Redanian monarch soon gained a nickname that accurately described his nature and the policies he pursued towards his neighbors. Radovid the Stern. Yes? I'm surrounded by enemies. We must hurry. What? I shall I assemble a great hunt. This is no time to talk. Return. We must raise the hearth and poll taxes yes. by three pence. Are you out of your mind? You must find fun somehow. I'll gladly listen if you have any better idea. Then Bold Foltest uttered these words. Virtuous Radovid. What the hell is that? I'm trying to keep a faithful and accurate record of these events. He said, stop deliberating, son. We need to put out the fire in this whorehouse. Geralt, you have no sense of poetry. There's the truth of time and the truth of legend. You'll never change. The pen is mightier than the sword, and you'll never change either. Off to save the world again when nobody's asked you. I need to finish something. I understand. Good luck. We must hurry. There's fighting everywhere. I'm afraid we're about to get a closer look at the Grand Master's regiments than we ever wanted to. I don't know if I can raise my hand against a Knight of the Order. You may have no choice. They're out to kill. Bastards! Geralt! I knew him. He was still a human a month ago. Shorter than me. Well, you proved better with the sword. Expect to see more of these monsters in Vizima. It's the Greater Brothers. They wouldn't let me near that project. That is an offense to humanity. Come inside, it's safer. You're right. The squirrels and the order. Between a rock and a hard place, huh? I had a dream, white-haired one. Your destiny will be fulfilled. I come to tell you. Mistake not the stars with their reflection in a pond's surface. I'll remember that. Trouble approaches! Don't kill me, Witcher! Well... A talking ghoul. I'm a mutant, as are you. 
born with the gift of speech and an intelligence like that of humans. I know many intelligent monsters that are deadly. I am a threat only to those who threaten me. Let's say I believe you. I'm calmed. Why are you here? I no longer need to hide in the cemetery. It's safer here. I come out at night, find food in the streets. Can't complain. The inhabitants of this home have no objection? They fear me. The little brat comes alone, talks without end. I must go. Farewell. into my eyes, Dwan, and you will see your death. I see a blind fanatic about to perish. Silence, traitor. You've delivered death too often. Retribution awaits. You might be able to brainwash young elves with your slogans, but they don't impress me, nor did they impress those you murdered. I was wrong about you. You're not worth talking to. You're a blind, rabid dog biting anything that moves. Someone needs to finish you off. Death We couldn't break through. Heavy fighting. Is there a safer way to the monastery? There's another path. Through the sewers. Dangerous. I have a key. Take it. Thank you. You won't... Zugal. Geralt, there's really a Zeugel down there. I hope it hasn't had time to multiply. I heard of one Zeugel, and from what I know you need two to multiply. Zugels are hermaphrodites. They don't need a mate to make little Zugels. They do it with themselves. That's sick. Unnatural even for monsters. We must slay it.
I know you're an atheist, but I wanted to ask you to pray before you confront Jack de Altersburg. Siegfried, I'm not a believer. Doesn't that make prayer useless? Faith and lack thereof differ in that faith can work miracles, while its lack can do nothing. Fine. I'll pray. Eternal fire! Oh! 
Again! Lie down, Siegfried. Once again, I'm wounded in the leg before a glorious battle. Geralt, I cannot go on. Ah! Don't move. Foltest's armies will be here any minute. Geralt, go. I shall gather what knights have remained faithful to the Order's tenets. Halt! No passage. Grand Master's orders. I'm here on a matter of national importance. Shove off. The Grand Master seeks solitude. Sorry, you give me no choice. Death! <laughs> <laughs> Behold, my people. They feast at my table, find warmth at my fire, and glow with happiness to be separated from the turmoil of war. You're deluded if you think the sight of women and children will make me leave you alone. I do not intend to deceive you. The white frost approaches, a cataclysm that will bury the world beneath snow and ice. Each night, I dream of icy wastelands and the death of the old civilizations. I've heard Ithlina's prophecy. The cataclysm is unavoidable. Kings prefer to wage local wars to expand their influence, while elves have become terrorists fighting for a lost cause. The world needs a savior, a man of the moment, someone to kindle the flame in people's hearts. You, savior of the world. Come, I will show you something. Humans are weak, frail, and inclined toward evil. I shall create a new man, perfect, tempered in the eternal fire. Finished? Because if you are... You doubt me? I do not blame you. I had my doubts too. Yet now, my vision is strong. Behold, the scales will fall from your eyes, and you will understand. Juggler's tricks. I expected more. You think this an illusion? Oh no, Geralt, it's nothing of the sort. Where are we? See for yourself. Follow me. Now that you have seen the ice encased towers of Vizima, do you understand? You're rambling to Aldersburg. What do you want? This is the future. The White Frost has destroyed human civilization. This is the end of time. Do we lose heart, surrender? Never. 
we can yet avoid our fate. Save your rhetoric for the plebs. Understand. The Order and Salamandra acted only to save humanity. Every criminal claims a higher cause. You lack humility. Time for a lesson in some. The unexpected awaits you here. How did you get here? You're stronger than the Grand Master thought. You summoned me. How? The Grand Master invited you into a vision of the future enclosed in his mind, yet you brought your own visions and specters. So this isn't real? It's more than a dream. Should you die here, your death will be very real. I shall accompany you, assist you, but only a blizzard follows us with nothing beyond it but death. changed a bit, Witcher. Again, you emerge from nowhere to kill humans. What humans? As always, you're perplexing. Behold the remains of humanity. Ape men, wretched creatures worthy of disdain. Some my own great-grandchildren. They're human? The white frost has stripped humanity of its luxurious robes. All that's left are beasts that think only of eating and procreating. They are human no longer. Their base instincts drive them like the lynch mob from which you saved me. I'm grateful. Take my gift.
I see you have met our degenerate great-grandchildren. Do you understand now why you cannot oppose my plan? You have yet to say how all this ice justifies your crimes. Only a grand plan pursued without hesitation could save humanity from what I saw in my visions. Trust your daydreams that much? Many of the gifted foresaw the white frost. Global cooling is this world's destiny. Why fight it then? You always believed man makes his own destiny. I seek to change all humanity's fate. You robbed humanity of its right to decide. You understand nothing. Geralt, I hear the wails of those who perished, hear their cries, and you will know my pain. You killed me, yet I'm happy to see you. There are worse things than dying in battle. I know. I didn't choose a soldierly life to die in bed. Our ties exceed even death. I will fight at your side. Draw your sword, things are about to get interesting. Do you finally understand, obstinate witcher? Humanity will perish. The few who remain will become animals. My plan would avoid this. What plan, dammit? The human nations can only survive the cold through a mass exodus south. With you leading them? I'm prepared to do so. I see the future. I command respect. I would rule well. Of course, I had to get rid of any standing in the way, especially non-humans. Why so obsessed about other races? You're joking. They detest humans. With the slaughter in Vizima, they discarded their noble masks. How can you stand with the murderers of women and children? Another lie. You provoked the non-humans. Hatred for hatred. I'll show you my creations. Honest. They don't hide their intentions behind beautiful faces.
we could have stopped the Grandmaster's madness, but you insisted on stopping us. You resorted to murder and terrorism. That's no alternative. Yet we were right. Behold, humans are naught but bloodthirsty apes. That is plainly visible here. You blindly followed the Order's lead and now brandish your sword against them, like a dog biting the hand that feeds it. But that is what you are. No wolf but a rabid dog, a mindless killing machine. Nobody. Enough, Yaven. Now I shall kill you like the dog you are. How stubborn you are. I could use you to shepherd my sheep during the first years of winter. I doubt you mean it. You stole our secrets from Kaer Morin, used them for the worst ends. Witches were meant to be guardians, but proved too weak. You loathe yourselves. I needed witches, but perfect ones, emotionless, lacking human weaknesses. You see human traits as weaknesses? I pity you. Fear obscures your thinking. My knights never hesitate. Geralt. Humans. Monsters. Easy to mistake one for the other. I trust your judgment. The Grand Master is the vilest kind of criminal. We need to stop him. Let's go then. Just like old times.
must part. Why? At the heart of the vision, he controls all. You must go on alone. See you, Triss. I'll be back. Good luck, Geralt. You see the need to act, whatever the price. Geralt, open your eyes, open your mind. They treat people like you at St. Lebiota's hospital. By pursuing me, you proved me right. You faced the dangers that humanity faces and survived. Jacques de Aldersburg, your dream is over. Patience. You may yet change your mind. Imagine thousands traversing an icy wasteland. Could you defend them? You and a handful of witches ridden with doubt, like Berengar? Impossible. Only the greater brothers can do that. But they need to be taught and led. They need you. I also have an offer. Surrender. Withdraw your mutants. Humble yourself before the king. You'll save many lives. How confident you seem. A painful lesson awaits.
Have you fulfilled your destiny? Salamandra is dying, soon to be a memory. Salamandra means nothing. It was but a particle of chaos, the tool of the madman you just slew. Your past, your destiny, the reasons for your resurrection, all remain unknown. Words, words, words. Let me remind you, there is death, but there is also choice. I shall not look back. I shall find Salamandra and fulfill my destiny. You were wrong. I come for the soul of someone whose path often crossed yours as it was written. You may fight me, but the end will always be the same. Death. The question is, whose? I cannot be killed. You can delay your end, but it will come. Let us tend to the one already dead. Reflect on your deeds, Witcher. I stood near you when you arrived at Kaer an omen of its downfall. I observed as you judged the villagers of the outskirts, leaving only blood and fire behind you. You brought death upon Raymond, endangered Shani, mindful only of your goals. Chaos followed in your wake. You slaughtered dozens with your witch's sword. You helped create the foundations for the Order's fanatical reign. You left Vizima in chaos, only to bring destruction upon murky waters. Every one of your decisions brought further devastation. Each choice you made led to greater evil. The order to which you handed power aims to eradicate all who are not entirely human. What say you to that, mutant? Stop. Do not deny it, Witcher. You are my greatest champion, a perfect means of destruction. Wherever you walk, death and chaos follow. Now, as it was years ago, accept it. Do not fight it. Give up to me yet another man you destroyed. Jacques de Aldersberg is mine. You dare to oppose me? I sense your weakness as your life seeps from your wounds. With every drop, death draws nearer. You stand no chance against me. Yield to me. Never. This is between him and me. You aim to kill him anyway. True, but for my reasons, and they are nothing to you. Clear off while you can. Go before it's too late. You want to fight me? So be it. Your flight from death ends here. Draw your sword. I was afraid you'd suggest chess. That sword is for monsters.
You're awake, Geralt. I was getting worried. Dandelion? Where's the Grand Master? A few steps away. He's dead. For a minute there, I thought you were gone too. Hardly a pleasant nap. Was I out long? Well, you missed a few things. The Rebellion's been quelled, and Foltest has regained control of the city, with assistance from the Order. How's Siegfried? He was here a second ago, keeping an eye on you until I arrived. Then duty called. I wonder how he'll manage his Grand Master. Well, I hope. What about you? Did you succeed? Yes. I'll take the final element from Jacques and close this chapter. Take what's yours, Witcher. You earned it. So, did you recover everything? Know what I found on the Grand Master? A Dimeridium pendant. The one you gave Alvin? I don't know. It looks the same, but older. He must have worn it under his armor for years. A true keepsake, perhaps. Maybe it was his way of repelling hostile magic. Or it was there to control inborn abilities, unrelenting visions. That's something we'll never know. It doesn't matter. Jacques de Aldersburg, if that was his name, is dead. End of story. What's next, Geralt? What do you mean? Come now. You've recovered what was stolen, punished those who hurt you, you played politics and dismantled conspiracies. You've loved, you've killed... You've come a long way, Geralt. What do you intend to do now? Only now do I feel my new life beginning. Born anew, baptized in blood and fire. A new ballad? Sounds too pompous, Dandelion. Take a look around. Life is simple, unpredictable, and beautiful. That's something new. You returned from the netherworld, got entangled in a real mess. You faced beasts and bastards who did you harm. And you're telling me life is beautiful? You're exaggerating again. Something ends, something begins. I'll take the last of the stolen secrets, take a deep breath, and move on. What can I say? Godspeed on your path, Witcher. Jacques de Aldersburg's funeral drew masses. All wished to bid farewell to the man who had saved Vizima. The bloody street fighting ended. People saw the knights as heroes. Non-humans faced greater hatred than they did before the rebellion. The king's edicts punishing the Scoia'tael caused a mass exodus of elves and dwarves. History can at times be cruel. The king turned a blind eye to the iniquities of the Order of the Flaming Rose. The new Grand Master, Siegfried of Donnell, reformed the Order, consolidated its power. The sorceresses failed to consolidate theirs at the court of King Foltest. The king punished or exiled those who had plotted against him in his absence. New fortunes were made amidst the ruins. Some won, others lost. The natural order of things. Few knew what had really happened in those days in Vizima. They were those who destiny had brought together with Geralt of Rivia. Yet they chose to remain silent. What then happened to the Witcher? That is a different tale entirely. Temeria and Redania are allies, thanks in no small part to you. For your toil, a worthy pouch of gold. Your Highness. Master. Farewell, sire.